Okay, one card on the bottom for Dave. We are ready to go. Yeah. Lush Portico. Lush Portico, Cervell, and we are going to Cervell. Cervell, everybody. Link for Shane Sleeves in the chat. All right, as we saw uh, on the previous round of today's stream, those of you watching this later on YouTube might not have seen it yet, but the Eldrazi deck is capable of some really fast, disruptive, and interesting starts to the game. There's Exploration. Shane is not playing around. There's a Yavamaya. Urza Saga. Are we going to allow a mana? You can respond to Urza Saga entering by wasting it, and it will never be able to produce a mana, but we are past that point. It gets its chapter counter, and we are passing the turn. Wasteland hanging back on defense. And maybe uh, if we're looking for the real reason here, Dave needs the mana. So here's Eldrazi Mimic. Secluded Courtyard was the second land drop. The turn? Uh, uh, only power and toughness. Only power and toughness. Okay. This will be the... Uh, drop. Sure, two. Okay, so where's the saga will tick up. Curious to see what the follow-up will be here for Dave. That's being staged in Dark Depths. Uh-oh. With Wasteland tapped down, it looks like we're going to make a Merrill Edge. Yep. Which, which deck is the aggro deck exactly? There's a 20-20. Eye of Ugin, okay. Okay, let's do it. So here is, let me get the name right, Wastescape Battle Mage. And this is not over. We're going to bounce Merit Lage. Trying to get the text up on the screen. New card from MH3, paying homage to the Battle Mages of Invasion Block. Very cool card. And an important kicker ability, being able to bounce a creature for one and a blue. Remove Merit Lage from the board. I love it. And Eldrazi Mimic got in an attack with Urza Saga now ticking up to three. Shane trying to figure out what to do with it. Yeah, the uh, Wastegate Battle Mage is becoming more and more of a critical part of the Legacy Eldrazi decks here in uh, summer 2024. The From talking to some of my friends that have been playing Eldrazi decks and seeing some results come in of tournaments around the world, um, the Eldrazi list is still very up in the air in some ways, and Wastegate becoming more and more a part of the uh, what people consider the stock version, I think I would say. It was in the sideboards in the beginning. All right, here's Lava Coil, uh, Lava Spur Boots. Floating a mana with Saga. No land drops yet. Lava Spur can be scary. Life from the Loam. Okay. Return Thespian Stage in Dark Depths. Don't have enough mana uh, to equip with Lava Spur Boots. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, play th th Dark Depths in Thespian Stage. Dark Depths can tap for a green. So we could make a Merit Lage again. Okay, crop rotation, sacking Lush Portico. 
What are we looking for? Could be Tabernacle. There's a chance for Wasteland. Unlikely, but there's an option of Maze of Ith sometimes. Unlikely for this current situation, I think. Ancient Tomb. Okay. Uh, I'm going to copy, make a Marilage, and attempt to equip the Marilage. Oh, that makes so much sense. I totally forgot about the option of Ancient Tomb. So we're going to make a Marilage and equip it with Lava Lurse Spur Boots and attack here. It looks like Shane's plan. I didn't even consider that possibility, but that is the game. Attacking with Marit Lage for the kill, equipped with Lava Spur Boots. I mean, Wayscape Battle Mage. I mean, for anybody out there who's still feeling like, I hate Modern Horizons. I mean, what a cool card. Come on. You can't step away during the stream, folks. You'll miss it. We need your undivided attention here at 90s MTG. One card on the bottom for Shane. We're ready to go. City of Traders, Thorn. Okay. Deal with this. Deal with this little bullshit. Yeah, it's actually. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh. Thorn of Amethyst. Yeah. Well, let, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Alright, Wasteland passed the turn, chose not to knock out City of Traders. Let's see what the follow-up is here for Dave. Do I crack these now? Because there's like lines of play of like oh, okay. Mystic Sanctuary. Okay, here's Thought Not Seer off an Eldrazi Temple. And uh, it's likely we're going to get a look at Shane's hand, I, I guess. I love the All right, lots of Eldrazi text reminders on today's stream. Crop Rotation, Expiration, Life from the Loam, Buseju, Who Endures, Thespian Stage, and Dark Depths. So um, it looked like that Thorn of Amethyst did some work. Let's see what Thought Not Seer takes here. Probably going to be Expiration, I imagine. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't expect it to be, for when I built this to be this complex. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like lots of complicated games. Yeah. Lines yeah. play. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Okay, expiration is selected. It will be an exile. It's gone. I guess I just attack the throng earlier. Yeah, Johnny. Never mind. So that's a pretty good start to the game two here for Dave. There are some draws that Shane could have that will be scary for sure. Another copy of Expiration, possibly. Wasteland firing it off on Eldrazi Temple is is a play that's available, but I'm not sure if it's the right one. Life from Alone will cost one more. Gonna play Besaju and pass. Yeah, I can do it like keep the uh, two yard, keep the uh, rest in peace when you do the two points. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, Crop rotation could get fired off at some point during this turn. Cavern of Souls, name Eldrazi. Okay, Eldrazi Mimic past the turn. The plan could potentially be here to find Tabernacle, waste something, start to move things in that direction. I don't know if dredging loam will be too important in this game. All right, we're probably going to sack, but uh, okay, sacking wasteland. Um, okay, it'll be Urza's Saga, it turns out. So Urza Saga will enter its second chapter on the draw step that's about to happen. This is end step of Dave's turn, so 
The chapters will be fasting forward, I guess. Thorn of Amethyst just uh, affects non creatures, so. Yeah. All right, that's being stage, pass the turn. Reality Smasher here could be scary. We also saw that Eldrazi line breaker in the previous game knock out, deliver a knockout punch. So making in a construct here to chump block could be relevant. Okay, just going to attack with the Thought Knots here. No creatures pre-combat, so Eldrazi Mimic will stay back. And uh, a weaker attack than maybe what the deck is capable of. Secluded Courtyard, and looks like... Did Dave Jester to pass the turn? Maybe not. Okay, so we're still going. Secluded Courtyard in. No, I'm not sure. Okay, so correctly playing the right amount. Chalice on one. That'll shut off cards like Crop Rotation, Expiration, Swords to Plowshares. You get the idea. Making a Construct. So Urza Saga about to tick up to its final chapter. Do we want to make another construct? The possibility of making a construct and finding an equipment. Okay, so we're not making constructs, so never mind. Just floating a mana. What are we looking for here? Sometimes you'll see Mox Diamond, sometimes you'll see an expedition map, sometimes you'll see an equipment like Shadow Spear. That's, it's probably not going to be dino DNA, you know? Uh, equals a number. Okay, there's a Lava Spur Boots. That's one of the equipments that we can expect to see in these kind of decks. That and or Shadow Spear. We saw how Merit Lage can be equipped with the Lava Spur Boots. Something to watch out for in this game. There's Dark Depths. There is a mana floating, so we could make a Merit Lage, but not enough to... Equip. Uh, okay. Lava Spur is technically not equipped to anything, I don't think, here. It's, uh, yeah, all right, that, that was a little unclear for a moment. Merit Lage and a 2 2 construct on defense. There's a City of Traitors. Most likely we'll see an Eldrazi die in combat if attacks come in. What does Dave have? Okay, it will be Reality Smasher, so Eldrazi Mimic will copy its power and toughness, and we're we're attacking. There's no point in not attacking here, I would say. Anybody watching that was hoping for another Wastegate Battle Mage, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Merit Lage preparing to block. Makes a reasonable block. Yes. I'm grabbing the last card. Debating whether to throw this construct with a servo on its reverse side in front of an Eldrazi Mimic. That is the match. Merit Lage would be swinging for the kill on the following turn. Wastescape was on top of the library. Oh, my goodness. That's why I never look. Yeah, that's why you never look. GG's. Wastescape Battle Mage couldn't get it that time. Well played.